In 2011 and 2012, we shot a documentary called Format Frankfurt about the German city of Frankfurt and its citizens. The idea of this movie was to give the audience a new and different look at German culture besides beer and bratwurst. We wanted to show how the city really is like without censoring any statements. The film should be told by people living and working in the city and not by a narrator who judges people's actions. Our goal for the next five years is to establish the taste of Frankfurt in our restaurants. Everybody coming from out of town should be able to eat here to know what Frankfurt tastes like. The choice of camera was easy because we needed to be quick and the setup small to be able to film places where you usually need permission to shoot, so we decided to use the Canon 7D, a mid-range DSLR, as our main camera. Back in early 2011 when production started, there was only the Canon 5D Mark II and entry-level DSLR T2i available. Since we were familiar with the 7D and we liked the look of the image, we stayed with it. Choosing a lens was more difficult because we needed different focal lengths to be able to cover everything, white and telephoto shots. A prime lens was clearly out of question because either you are too close or too far away, so I knew we would need a zoom lens. Since we were often walking around with people talking and showing things, we needed to film handheld. It was clear that the lens would have to have image stabilization. There aren't many good lenses available that have a long zoom range, image stabilization and an aperture below f5.6. The first few interviews were shot with a 18 to 135 mm kit lens and prime lenses, which wasn't ideal. After researching for a while, I found the Canon 24 to 105 mm f4 with IS. I was amazed by the sharpness, bouquet, and the overall performance. Especially the stabilization when filming handheld caught my attention. While having already filmed a few interviews with other lenses, I was glad to use the 24 to 105 mm for most interview shoots. Since the Canon 7D is a crop sensor DSLR and not full frame, we were still looking for a nice wide angle lens. The Tokina 11 to 60 mm f2.8 seemed to be ideal because of the fast and constant aperture, which also makes it ideal for low light situations as well as the extreme wide angle. Right here, we're at the harbour. When this harbour was built, people told me that it would become really nice, which I couldn't believe at that point of time. But now I enjoy this Mediterranean feeling at this harbour. Filming mostly with just one camera and one directional microphone plugged directly into the camera made the shooting process easy and we were able to focus more on the content than the technical aspects. Filming with multiple cameras and dual system sound is the better and more professional way of shooting a documentary, but also takes more time and usually, when making a doc, you cannot repeat shots. Since it is our own production without any funding, we were also limited in budget. Post-production took place between August 2012 and January 2013 as well as early 2014. Hundreds of hours of footage had to be watched and notes had to be taken. The hardest part was to put the sequences in the right order so the film had a certain structure and wouldn't get boring. When having a narrator, making transitions between places and scenes is easy but without somebody telling the audience what is about to happen, this can be a big challenge. The film was edited in Premiere Pro CS 5.5 and visual effects as well as stabilization were done in After Effects. Even the timeline sometimes was a few hours long, we never experienced any problems or software crashes. 
Due to different reasons, production got delayed and the project was finished in early 2014. We switched to CS6 and Creative Cloud, which made a few things easier, especially the dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects. Format Frankfurt was color corrected and graded directly in Premiere Pro. The idea was to make the image look flat and cinematic and not too contrasty. Since it was shot in summer and winter, we had to develop different looks, which took quite some time. While working with layout music throughout the edit, which was more of a placeholder, we were glad that Beatsuit gave us access to their big music library, because we needed a variety of tracks from different genres. The film premiered on May 10th in a cinema in Frankfurt. The final film has a length of 78 minutes and is now available for streaming and HD download on Vimeo On Demand. Because the movie was recorded in German language, the international English version has a male and female voiceover with a few subtitles. We are also working on an online tutorial on how to make a documentary. The filmmaking tutorial goes through all the steps of production and will be released later this summer. I read that Frankfurt is one of the top 10 cities worth living in and I can totally agree with that statement. The cultural diversity of Frankfurt is outstanding and growing up with it is something that you can't avoid. Frankfurt is always moving, pulsating and has its own heartbeat. I find this diversity fascinating. I like the atmosphere of getting together, drinking apple wine and talking to each other. We have many fashion designers that want to break out of mainstream culture. Everybody coming from out of town should be able to eat here to know what Frankfurt tastes like. It is called a cold and ugly city. They always feel the need to defend the city against any bad comments. Most people come here for 10 years and earn their share and then move on. I can identify myself best with Frankfurt and wouldn't want to live anywhere else.